Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Banson. Uh, I'm an application specialist at Civil Survey Solutions. In this uh, video series, I'm going to, going to be running through a, a typical urban uh, road reconstruction. Uh, this is a, a job uh, in Sydney uh, that was undertaken by uh, one of the councils in Sydney that um, used civil site design. I thought it was a, it'd be a great job to run through. Uh, basically what these guys wanted to do was uh, reconstruct the road so that uh, there was new uh, curb and channel running along the northern end and uh, they wanted complete independent control over the levels uh, of the curb and channel so part of this design uh, will be coming up with, with suitable cross for so that um, uh, the driveways will still work and the, the cross wall of the road is not too flat or too steep. Um, down at the southern end um, we're also going to uh, reconstruct some curb and channel um, and add some uh, a new footpath as well. In regards to uh, the existing roads here on either side um, we weren't going to be uh, reconstructing those, uh, basically just adding in some curb returns into the existing edge and I'm going to show you a technique uh, in one of the later videos on how to uh, tie in um, curb returns into an existing edge. Uh, the trick sort of involves creating a road object out of the, uh, uh, out of the edge, existing edge of the road. So uh, I'll get started. Um, uh, you can see they've already got some alignments created. In fact, I've got an alignment running up the centre line. Uh, the name of the street is is, is President Street. Uh, I have uh, I have an another alignment to control the uh, northern curb and uh, another offset alignment to control the the, the southern curb. If I open up the template editor. I already have created a template called President Street. You can see the new, uh, see the curb and channel on the left hand side and the right side with the footpath. Uh, one part of this job will involve uh, configuring the, the sub base, and I want to do so so that we have full depth pavement uh, about 600mm out from the edge of bitumen, and the rest will be a resheet. So for now, I'm just going to edit the section and uh, for both the left and the right, I'm going to delete all subgrade layers and later on I'm going to show you how we can set those up. So um, when I create the road at the center line, uh, we're going to raise the design uh, about 50 mil. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to click on create road, select the alignment and apply the President Street template. I'm going to set the sampling nice and tight to about one meter and click OK. So Civil Site Design has some great tools to automate a, a vertical profile uh, and this can be achieved using this big button with the green plus. Um, you can do things like uh, a resheet where you raise and lower, uh, raise or lower the center line to achieve a minimum overlay. Um, you can design by referencing other strings. You can design by referencing constraints, with, which I'll show you later on. What I want to do is reference a surface. So I want to say for the whole length, reference the natural surface. Uh, but rather than getting an IP at every section, I want to use some fit parameters. I'm going to say uh, with a tolerance of 50 mil, I could make it 100. Raise the design 50 mil and add uh, a vertical curve length of 20, if, if it can fit it. So sometimes with these factors, you need to have a bit of a play with them. Um, in order to get the design right. If I apply that, you can see that um, the software's designed at roughly 50 mil above the surface. Um, a few areas around the vertical curve where it's a little bit off, but uh, what this gives me is a good starting point uh, for the design. Now, at the start and ends, uh, we will be transitioning into uh, the 
uh, the, the main roads here um, but we'll set that up when we um, create road objects out of these edge strings in fact the software will, will transition uh, for us automatically on that okay so I'll close down the vertical grading editor uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, begin work on the uh, northern curb here the first thing I want to do is turn uh, the alignment, the offset alignment into a string and what that will give me is independent control over the levels so I'm going to select on string profile and <coughs> select on that string uh, don't need to apply a template because it's controlling the offset and levels of a code that uh, exists on the main template um, but once again I'm going to tighten up the sampling and click OK so the software's done its design of best fit what I'm going to do is just open up a cross section for the main road and I'll just turn on the code so we can see those rather than the levels now in the cross-section view it's, it's very useful to be able to show uh, as much information as possible like other surfaces, alignments um, or levels so what I want to do is project onto that cross-section the position of uh, that string I just created which is called EB left and I also want to show the level <coughs> on that string as well so I use the road option to do that and then when I click OK you can see I've actually positioned the alignment where I uh, uh, created the template so the curb is in the right position already so I'm not too interested in the offset as such but that pink dot represents uh, the, the level at that location and as I uh, move the levels on the string you can see that red dot updating so what I want to do is tell the software that that LEB code is going to adopt the level on that string. So to do so I open up the design data form for President Street and I add a variation called set code offsets and or levels to string <coughs> and click OK. So I want the left edge of bitumen for the entire length. Now I could use two options here. Change offset and level would change the offset of LEB onto the alignment of the string but um, the alignment exists on the same location um, as LEB at the moment so I could use that one but I could also just say we'll hold the offset at, at the current location uh, but change the level to adopt the level on EB left so it'll do the same thing if I click on add update we can see now I'm getting a varying crossfall at that section and if I move the levels of the curb through that section um, you can see my main cross-section template update now it can be hard to, to set up a suitable design for the string um, just in this particular uh, vertical profile view um, what uh, you can do in civil site design is create what we call design constraints which are basically um, envelopes that uh, project out from another code or, or string so what I want to do on my uh, curb design is project two grades from the road center line say at minus five percent and minus two percent and show those bands on this profile and then as I'm designing the curb um, I know if I'm uh, I can see straight away that I'm designing suitable crossfall so to add the design constraints you need to open up the design data form for the road or string you're working in click on design constraints I want to project from the center line alignment um, the center line string President Street so I'm going to use from alignment design surface you give these design constraints a name so I'll call mine uh, crossfall road pick the change range I want to interpolate levels from President Street 
and I want to project from the President Street alignment. So when you use this design constraint, you're often uh, picking the same alignment here. I could offset with an additional uh, offset location or level adjustment, but I'm going to say from that point, project minus two and minus five. And then I just pick some colors for those envelopes and pinks and reds and blues look uh, pretty good. I can always go in and turn those off by setting active to no. So when I select on add update, you can see that I have some bands appearing indicating those slopes and if I design between them you can see if I design outside I'm too steep design above I'm too flat but if I design in between the bands then I'm within suitable crossfall so uh, um, just a couple of tips when you are moving the IPs up and down you can notice that the software rescales the vertical grading editor for you which can be a little bit annoying um, by hitting this button here, you can temporarily turn off that scaling. And so when you move the design, you can see the software is no longer scaling the vertical grading editor for me. Now, if I wanted the software to um, uh, do an auto design based on one of those constraints, I select the, the button with the green plus, uh, run constraints, and I'm going to tell the software to reference. Um, we'll go the high constraint. We'll go the low constraint, which is the minus two percent. Um, but once again, rather than the software adding an IP at that point at every section, uh, I'm going to use fit parameters. And by doing so, the software will smooth the design out for me. So. I'll just apply that. So what the software has done is it's created an auto design using that top constraint. And it's a good sort of starting point for me. There might be a few areas where I need to tweak the design, but it's pretty close to that uh, that constraint that I that I added. Right, but I can focus now on on fixing that design up of the curb. Now the other useful command um, that we could use uh, to ensure um, a suitable design uh, is run the driveway checker. I won't do it on this uh, in this video, but um, we do have. Uh, I mean, this command is well documented on our YouTube page. But I could um, uh, set set up the locations of the driveways and then as I'm redesigning the curb the software's um, running the vehicle um, the standard uh, B85 or B99 vehicle and doing that check for me um, so that's another thing that I could do on this uh, project but I, I won't um, okay that's uh, all for this next uh, the first video and um, in the next video we'll go through and we'll set up the the sub base for this road